transfer the files. Create a new project. Import the file groups. Open the first file in the viewer and click insert into the target edit. Drag the red uh, pointy thing in the edit timeline to the end. Close the window for the first edit. Open the second edit in the viewer and click insert into the target edit. Do the same for all of the file groups. If one of them is a single image on its own and not a file group, what you need to do is click on add an in mark click nudge one frame forward click add an out mark and then click insert into the target edit although this specific file I do not plan on using but that is what you would do if there was a single lone image now <coughs> you should have a uh, 24 FPS or whatever frame rate you have specified video which should last a particularly short time. What you now do is click on the export button. Find the folder where you want to export it to. Type in a file name. Click the start button to export the video. Once the video is exported, what you need to do is import the video that you've just exported. This may seem strange, but this is what you need to do. Open the exported then imported video in the viewer. Close the other edit. Click insert into the target edit to create a new edit for the recently exported and imported video. Then click on the create new edit button to create a new blank edit make sure that the new blank edit is recording Go to the edit for the exported video. Click the insert into the target edit button to transfer this to the new blank edit. Right click on the create new edit button and then click on create video black five minutes. In the yellow ribbon tab that comes up saying black click on the viewer icon. Click on insert into the target edit to add five minutes of blackness. In this case I will probably need to add ten minutes so I click this button twice.
Next, take into account by what level you want to slow down the video from the original frame rate. I recommend using the 24 FPS frame rate to start off with, as this is the slowest frame rate supported by Lightworks, leading you to have the least amount of slowing down to do in the end. Drag the red pointy thing back to the middle of the copy of the exported video. Click on the advanced button on the bottom right of the edit tab. Timeline, sorry. Select the speed here and set it to what percentage you want. I'll be setting it to 10% because I want it to be 10 times slower. Move the cursor to just between the first black lot and the copied video until you see a small white H. Click here. See what the timestamp is. In this case it's 7.15 seconds. I want it to be 10 times longer so I obviously want 1 minute 10 seconds or 1 minute and 11.5 seconds. Drag it as far as it will go. This goes as far as five minutes. This is actually too far as I only wanted one minute and I probably only needed one load of black. Closest to one minute and 11.5 seconds is actually one minute 10.23. But that doesn't matter, that's close enough for me. Once this has been joined, you should have now a much slower video with your whole stop motion in. Now, move the red pointy thing until you reach an area of blackness. Nudge the frames until you reach this area exactly, or press the right arrow key, which is probably easier. Once you reach the first frame that is black, click on the add an in mark at the current position. Then drag the red pointy thing to the end of the video. Then click add an out mark. Then click delete the marked section. The remainder should be your stop motion video with the exact frame rate that you wanted. Obviously, the amount you should multiply the time by is the reciprocal of this here, or whatever. So, obviously if you have 25%, you don't want to multiply it by 25, you want to multiply it by 4. Now you have this created stop motion video, you simply export it with the custom name. Mining in a cave. Thank you for watching.